The Lord be praised. Jesus be praised. Greet you in the name of Jesus. Good morning, good day, good Sunday. And we are grateful to be here. Amen. 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 Let's go straight to the word. Read from the first book of Kings, uh, chapter 7. We'll start from verse 1. Our interpreter, now as I was summer. First, first, and then I will come back to the morning. I will come back to the morning. I Iyo nkorera iteka yuko nta kime cyangwa imvura bizagwa muri muri imyaka keretse aho nzabitegekera hanyuma ijambo ry'uwiteka ari mugeraho riti bantu ugende werekere iburasirazuba wihishe iruhande rwa kageze kitwa kereti ahateganye na Yorodan uzajimwa amazi yako kandi ntegetse ibikono kujya bikugiye muri bikugiye muri rayo nuko aragenda ageze ku Again, the quick take I have was a as a quick cage is the kid that had taken in a road than a gumayo. If you call Navicaja Mozanera, Mutsima Mutsima, Ninyama, Okoke, Okogi, Kandi, Akajanga Mazi, Nako Kajesi, Hashizimis, Ako Kajes, Nako Karuma, Koko in Hamvurai, Yagwaga, Mucha Yogo, Saumish. Read from verse 1 to 7, the Bible says, And Elijah, the Tishbite, and of the inhabitants of Gilead, <coughs> said to Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel lives, before whom I stand, there shall be no dew, no rain, these years except at my word. Then the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Get away from here, and turn eastward, and hide by the brook of Carith, which flows into the Jordan. And it will be that you shall drink from the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. So he went and did according to the word of the Lord, for he went and stayed by the brook Carith, which flows into the Jordan. The ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the brook. And it happened after a while that the brook dried up because there had been no rain in the land. Amen. 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 Hano tuvonye na voga abantu ba babiri cyangwa ibintu bitatu tubonye habu tubonye Eliya tubonye n'igikono. Here we have uh, Ahab, we have Elijah and we have the ravens. Aha turashaka kuvuga ku mbaraga Changwa uburyo changwa se uko umuka wera kora. Here we have we are talking about the different ways the Holy Spirit works. Koko ibyo umuka ibyo umuka imana na wabu vugangwa virangi zeruko tujenda tu tu wana rujero tu karu vugangu koko imana ya ruduhai. Because we cannot exhaust everything about the work of the Holy Spirit, but we we take the example we see and explain, and uh, as we get more and more, we explain. We've seen Ahab, the king of Israel. But let us look at Ahab and see what the Bible says concerning him. We go to the previous chapter, chapter 16 of 1 Kings to verse 30. Ngwariko Ahabu, mwene umuri, akora ibyangwa nuwiteka. Kurusha abamu banji jirebosi. Nuko bimu bere yebito kujenda mubja habya yerobo wamu mwene nebati ari ongera nya arongora yezebeli umukobga wa etabari umuami wa wasidoni aragenda akure rabari arayiramu. Yuba kirabari ikyotero mwondu ya bari yari yuba tisamari. 
kandi yiremera asheri ndetse ahabo ndetse ahabo arusha abandi bami b'Isirayeli bamubangirije bose kurakaza uwiteka imana ya Isirayeli the Bible says, Now Ahab, the son of Omri, did evil in the sight of the Lord more than all who were before him. And it came to pass as though it had been a trivial thing for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebath. He took as wife Jezebel, the daughter of Etbal, king of Sidonians, and he went and served Baal and worshipped him. Then he set up an altar for Baal in the temple of Baal, uh, which he had built in Samaria. And Ahab made a wooden image. Ahab did more to provoke the Lord God of Israel to anger than all the kings of Israel who were before him. Amen. 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 So we heard who Ahab was. His qualification, he was wicked. He's a king. He's a wicked king. A king of Israel. But a wicked king. Israel is man. Is worshiping God. God the Creator. God had chosen Israel. But we see Ahab. He's the one who brought the, gods, the, the idols. And he brought it to Israel. And he built a temple. For it. And he enthroned Baal. Amen. Amen. And of all the kings, Israel, the king who came before him, there was no one who was as wicked as he was. That is God saying that, not human beings. Before him, there was one called Jeroboam. He was the one who was wicked. Amen. Amen. He was the number one. Being wicked. Because he because he caused the Israelites to forget the Lord. To the but when Ahab came, Jeroboam, about number two, Jeroboam became number two. Number one. He took the number one spot in wickedness. In wickedness. You should be number one, one in good things, not in bad things. So there had been no king as wicked as him. Jeroboam was evil, but when Ahab came, Jeroboam he became a lesser evil. Than yeah, Ahab. yeah, he became a lesser evil. So that one angered the Lord. But when God is angered, or when the spirit is angered, God comes down and he comes down angry. physics, an action and a reaction. In physics, they say there is a reaction to every action. So one power has to fight with another. Power when one power is higher, the power that comes to counterbalance it comes being higher than one. When God comes down, he comes down. He comes down. Indeed. Pharaoh was a mighty man. But you need to look at the power that God put in Moses for him to fight with Pharaoh. The power God came with. Do you remember in Israel? Esther and Mordecai. The power that came down, it came stronger than the power of Haman who wanted to kill the Israelites. So the anger of the Lord, the wrath of the Lord, the, its heaviness, its weight, it comes in proportion. Yeah, it comes in proportion. It comes in proportion to the one So Ahab had made himself someone uh, impossible. 
Kaganga. Had made himself someone very powerful. Because any kim. Ah, you ma. Imana na ya gomba kumanuk. So God had to come down. Imanukira muri, muri Elijah. And he came down through Elijah. Elijah ra manuk. Elijah came. Emeri eri yana go tumuzi hobiens. We don't know a lot about Elijah. Na go tumuzi aho avuka. We don't know his background. Na go tumuzi aho yarat. We only know where he was living. We don't know if he was married or if he had children. We know nothing about him. Uh, they, the people don't know much about him. To the point that some say that he was an angel. Melchizedek who came and went. But in James, the Bible tells us that Elijah was like you and I. So you can be like Elijah as well. God can use you. If you have what God found in Elijah, today can use you. Because today there are people who have angered the Lord. There are some nations that have angered the Lord. There are some people who have angered the Lord. So even today in our midst, Elijah can rise. Now Elijah came down. He came very fast. I don't know where he found Ahab. He came and said to him, there will be no rain until I say so. And then he disappeared. He disappeared. Benedat. Beloved. Nothing worse than angering the Lord. Amen. Amen. There is nothing worse than angering the Lord. There is nothing wrong than grieving the Spirit of God. Because someone is coming and say, I'm shutting off the water. No negotiations. Nothing. 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 It means the judgment has been uh, completed and uh, the sentence has been signed and it will be executed. Yeah. The sentence yes. has been signed. Sentence has been signed. So this, the judgment has been made and the sentence has been signed. What is left is is you no know, letting them cut the head. Ariko, uko imvura that iya mapfa iya ibya govije iyo amapaji agwa agwa kuweza akagwa no kuweza. So now the problem, when problem comes, when drought, drought comes, it comes to the wicked and to the good ones. Elijah, uh, he didn't have a place where he was going to plant and harvest. The rain comes down for the good and for the evil ones. Same thing for drought and famine, it happens to the good ones and evil ones. And the Lord said, the Lord said to him, like red, and he said, Get away from here, turn eastward, and hide by the brook Kerith, which flows into the Jordan. You will drink from the brook and have commanded ravens to feed you. <laughs> I love God. I love God. God gives you an address. He doesn't hide. This morning I told Papa Musoni that God is not like God. When God wants Papa Musoni, he knows where to find him. Amen. 
Amen. When God is seeking you, he knows where to find you. He doesn't ask for your address. He doesn't ask for your address. If I want to visit you, <laughs> If I want to visit Papa Francois, I will ask him the number of the house, but God comes straight because he knows where he is. Go eastward to the Jordan. Don't go to the big river of Jordan. Go to the big river of Jordan. Go to the small brook that flows Ako, into the river. And there you're going to Uhabe. live there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Live there. Uhabe. 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 The problem is we do not like to stay where God is assigning us. Uhabe. I can sit here. I can turn the whole world while seated here. God wants me to sit here. I don't know how to sit still. I wonder if everyone is like me. Those things used to happen to me like But even now that I'm old, I don't know what to do. Now, Iman, Koko Gerongo, go a hagume, no Kayarazi Kokuaguma, Ko Kumun, Kugumahan. No staying in one place for him, Kugumahan. Staying in one place is not easy, it's a problem. I'll quite give you to be hooded. But let us leave. There, Natan's address. I have given the address. To the ravens, to feed you twice a day. Hallelujah. 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 The ravens will bring him bread and meat day after day. Do you know the ravens? Huh? Do you know the ravens? Uh, where I come from, it had a different name. Others, they call it those black birds who wear a tie, a white tie. The reason why I'm mentioning ravens if there is one bird that human beings don't like, Nanji, nang. myself, included, it's raven. Nijikon. It's a raven. Me that raven was created by God. And everything God created, he found it good. In the Song of Solomon, uh, there is uh, where it is written that the bride had the hair that looked like the colors of the raven. But for us, we don't like it. Moses said that a raven is impure. Yeah, like, It's not meant to be eaten. Urumba, ariko igikona uyu munsi nicyo it's a star. But today in this story, the raven is the star. Because here there are two people who are used by God. There is Elijah and there is the raven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Petro, I guess it's called When Peter went to Cornelius' house, Iman Aramogi and Monoki Tikin, he kissed it God called, told him, do not call things impure when God does not say they are impure. Because really, uh, it, it wouldn't be the raven to feed Elijah. You know, the raven eat things that are rotten. When it kills a mouse, it will let it rot first. When you go to Nduva, yeah, 
Kuko gikunda ahantu hari ibintu bibose. Because that love raven likes a place where there are rotten things. Ariko ni ubaye metre docteur ni ubaye serveur ni ni we icyo gikona ni kimana ihaye kugaburira eriyo. But in this story the raven is the waiter it is the Ariko kintu nja kuvuga ntabwo ari Eliya wagitoranyije nta nubwo ariko ari we wagagitoranyije. It's not Elijah who chose him even he wouldn't be in that position. Bivuga ngo Imana ikoresha ikishaka uwishaka itakubajije. That means God uses whoever he wants without consulting us. Imani kutumye nuka kuvuga ngo ngo ari kwitumye ndeda. When God is sending you, do not say, who is he sending? You see, that one, that one, can God send him? Doesn't God has other people to send? God sends whoever he wants. He won't ask for your permission. With, when he approves him, or whether it doesn't, he will send the person. What he wants is obedience. And for you to hear the message he's giving you. You know, they usually kill the messenger, but... They, the messenger shouldn't be killed because he's just carrying a message. So God will feed the ravens. I don't know what they were eating at the time. And then he will feed Elijah as well. Benedat. Benedat. You know, I told you I like to think, and I know you also like to think, reflect and think. Is to ask myself, is it, it, was the teeth, uh, did the teeth have a smell or an aroma? Was <laughs> it no, Close to my office. Close to my office, there is a bar. So I've never been there, but sometimes they make brochettes and I can get the smell. It's not that I love brochettes that much. No, no. But when you're now, was that raven carrying the meat in its mouth without, without smelling it? But that is just human being thinking. That is thinking as a human being. But God, God has many ways to do things, and you know that's not my business to know how He does it. And every morning, God uh, will give him food every morning and every evening. Amen. 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 Yes, we had Murima to Chuminarime Yatkisha Gusang, Arto Bongo, Ngude, if Ungoriachu Yumus, Dibyokuriachu Yumus. In Matthew chapter 11, uh, the Bible says God, God teaches us to pray, saying, Give us our daily bread. Elia, Imana Maga, if Yokuria Yamujitondo, if Yokuria Yani Mogoro. For Elijah, God will give him food for the morning and food for the evening. Let us so who prays to get uh, the daily food for that day? Let me tell you. No Do you know how we pray? Oh God, we have had our food for today, but give us for tomorrow. And give us for the next month to come. Man, we are beginning there, the month. Let us sit with Madam. And we are going to do the budget for the month 
for the mouth food. Murumba? Mm -hmm. uh, do you listen? Why do we pray like this? Those are just words. But God says, for today, the food today. Elijah will receive food for the morning, not for the evening. And in the evening, it will be food just for the evening, not also for the morning. And so on and so on. The manna will come the morning. morning. It, they will collect it in the morning. Uh, Except the, the day before the Sabbath, that's when they could take for two days. Otherwise, all the other days, they will collect manna just for the day. The person who prayed this morning said to pray for a fresh anointing. Urashaka, anointing you, you must. You want the anointing for the day. God is going to give you for today. But for us, we no longer have bands to store, but we have fridges. And we have bank accounts for money that we are going to use. We save. RSSP, when I grow old. But, if God will allow, you wouldn't see any of those things. It will all vanish. I do not mean to say that it's bad. No, we need to say it. Need. But what God wants, what he's telling us, let us not uh, desire to crave for things of Saturday. To spend sleepless nights saying, okay, today we have but what about Next Saturday, and it becomes an issue. You spend a sleepless night. However, Nyamara. however, Imani da koze itagukore no muri biyo na bima ni tagusani ngukore mevali. If God will not come to you and uh, help you with that, waziga maru kinsare ya kuicha ya kuicha seba ya ya kuicha nez. You know, you save, but you know you can still go hungry even though you have saved. Mujito ndo na vuzeko. This, this morning I say that I don't go to the market, so God kept me from that. Because that one will also cause me trouble. When I see my two young men when they are home eating, they will eat really like they are feeding something. If you are just a human being, you can't manage to feed them. But God does it. All, all of you mothers and fathers, you know you eat. Even though you don't know how you eat, but you end up eating. You eat. No one can that they have enough money to feed their families. There is no that money. But God knows how to satisfy you. He knows how to feed you. If I had six, I don't know how I have You know, young people eat. <laughs> Sorry for the young people. You know, you eat and people, are, they just can't understand. Amen. Amen. However, however, God told Elijah, do not worry about what you're eating tomorrow. You get food for the morning and food for the evening. Just wait. 
Do not think about tomorrow while you are Do not worry about tomorrow while you Do not think about tomorrow while it's today. Say, tomorrow will take care of yourself. I can say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Every day has trouble of its own. Amen. 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 To Amen. Let us continue. Let us continue. Now, in verse 7, it says that it happened that the brook dried up. I love the young man, even though I was talking He has got a plan. There is a young man, when I tell him about something, he always tells me that he has got a plan. But God, he always has plans. You know, that brook dried. But God knew that it was dry. God knew that it was going to dry. Up. But he wanted to change a plan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He wanted to change a plan. plan. I love the God of plans. Because he plans in ways that I can't understand. Amen. 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 He plans in ways that I cannot understand. Actually, he plans in ways There is nothing he can understand. So that brook dried. But God had another plan. Stay in his plan. I like to tell people that my life is like a leaf that has been thrown in water. In water. That is God's plan. When you're in God's plan, Oh, yeah. You walk as carried away. Okay, we get no Like in water. Aka yezi karu mnye imani zindi plan. Iram iramu girango. God had another plan. He told him. Umunani. That first. Ngobuke yezambo guiteka rimu gera horiti. Haguruka uje iserafati. Haba sidon. Abari ho uva. Hariyo umugore mupa kazi ni wenyekeze kugutunga. Then the word of the Lord came to him, saying, Arise, go to Zarephath, there which belongs to Sidon, and dwell there. See, I have commanded the widow there to provide for you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know if Elijah said hallelujah. They're taking him to Sidon. Who is the king of Sidon? He's the father-in-law of Ahab. Where? Jezebel. That is the father of Jezebel's kingdom. The kingdom that worships Baal. That's where he's fleeing. And there, there is that uh, drought. Not just drought or famine, but also uh, is going to uh, widow. She's the one who provides for him. If you're Elijah, will you say amen? But that was God's plan. That was God's plan. Elijah. Elijah was like a frog that was uh, in boiling water and then he it jumped off uh, and then it, it fell into the fire. It's coming from problems, he's going to bigger problems. Because 
gitekereza kore kure tudashobora kugera That would be in the perspective of a human being of myself or Elijah but God who has a plan he Imani areba kure God see very far Imani areba kure He sees very far Dukomeze Let's continue Dukomeze Let's continue Elia ngo arahaguruka aragenda Elijah he want Bene that iri jambo kumvira ugahaguruka kagenda ri muri imisi turimo twiga ku mwuka wera ni jambo rikunze kugaruka No these days obeying and going is a word that comes often as we Abantu bose imana yakoresheje all the people God used tubona ko yaba yabahagurukije we saw that he raised them up ariko bagahita bahaguruka he made them stand and bakagenda they went Kuko imana yakubwira imana ivuga ngo haguruka because god says arise ugende and go hanyuma ukore cyangwa uvuge ubutumwa bwo nguhaye oh give the message that i have given eri rero yarahagurutse now elijah stood aragenda and he left ariko yenda reka tuvuge kubyo umukecuru let us talk about this old woman kadusome muri luka let us talk reading luke 25 na 26 ngo ariko ndababwira ukuri ruka 20 ibice bine umurongo 25 verse 25 and 26 ngo ariko ndababwira ukuri yuko hariho hariho abapfakazi benshi mu Israel mu gihe mu gihe cya Elia ariko tubyumve neza hari aba hari abapfakazi benshi there were many widows mu gihe cya Israel in the land of Israel igihe cy'Imana the land of God Ako mugashire entre parenthèses. You know, Israel niyo cyo cyo gukimana. Israel was the land of God. Ngo ubwo ijuru ryakingwaga imyaka itatu na meza atandatu inzara nyinshi igatera mu gihugu cyose. Ngo nyamara mumbe neza. Nyamara Eliya nti yatuma mwa kuri umwe muri abo bo muri Israel mu bwoko bw'Imana. Amen. Ngo ahubwo atumwa ku mugore w'umufakazi w'Isirafati mu gihugu cy'Isidon The Bible says uh, but when the heaven was shut up three years and six months and there was a great famine throughout the land but to none of them was Elijah sent except to Zarephath in the region of Sidon to a woman who was a widow Imana God ikuye Eliya God is taking a from the Christian community and he's sending him to the unbelievers community. Let us rephrase it. God looked at a widow who has to be rescued and he looked for her in the Christian community and he couldn't find that one and found her in the unbelievers side. Listen to this. Because God looked for this widow. He looked for someone who could he could send the servant of God to. Someone who could host the servant of God. Someone who deserved to receive that servant of God in time Imani that he couldn't find uh, him her in Israel but in Sidon excuse me where the christians say those are the unbelievers the pagans camp amen 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 aho haratwibutsa colonelio that reminds us of cornelius colonelio ntabwo yari mu israel cornelius was not from israel ariko however Imana abariwe itoranya He is the one that God chose Bibera twereke iki bene data What does this show us below Ngoti Tuke gukimanza That we should not judge Tureke gukimanza That we should not Ahubwo however Ahubwo twikoreho twirebe twisuzume That we should examine ourselves Kugira ngo natwe tube dukwiriye So that we can be found worthy 
Amen. 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 So we see Elijah going to the Elijah because he was hungry he asked he for food. Hanyuma umupfakazi aza kumusubiza reka dusome. It is read what the widow said. Igice cya 17 kuva ku murongo wa 13. Chapter 17 from verse. Ya musabye byo kurya undamubwira ko nta byo kurya afite ko nta fafite ko nta mavuta afite ko nta kintu nta nta kintu mbese afite. She said I do not have bread, I don't have flour, very little oil, nothing. Amubwira ati Amubwira ati ntutinye abwe Eli yabwira mu kyecuru ati ntutinye igenda ukore nko kubivuze. Ari kubanze untekere akanje kagati ukanzanire hanyuma witekera kawe na kumwana wawe Do not fear do go and do as you said but make a small cake for it first and afterward make some for yourself and your son 15 Haravuga ngo abigenza nko kweli ya yamubwiye kuko uwo mugore ngo kandi uwo mugore na Eliya nabo mu rugo rwe bamara imisi babirya so she went away and did according to the word of Elijah, and she and he and her household ate for many days. When we look at this old woman, when we see this old woman, she said the truth. Have no food. What I have left is very and small, and that's what I will eat, and my child. I have very little that I will eat. You know, speaking the truth, God loves you. And the truth is a sign of Christianity. If we can say, speak the truth. Ariko turabona Eliya amubwira yensist ati no genda ubikore teka akanyuma nko kubivuze ari kubanza ukambe We see Elijah insisting saying go and do what you have said but first serve me Bibiliya yatubwiye ngo abigenza nko kweli yamubwiye The Bible says that she did according to the word of Elijah Amen 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 Eliya aramubwira ati humura genda ubikore uko bikoze no, uh, Elijah told her that the flour should, shall not be used up, nor the jar of oil run dry until the day the Lord sends rain. But it's not because of that that she obeyed. She obeyed because she saw him as someone who had godliness in him. Koko, because at the end, she said, Now I know that you're a man of God. And that's why we see God sending Elijah to her. Because God found her worthy. Imagine someone who deserved that. God took the person from Sidon, not from Israel. We are being challenged. We are being challenged. Amen. Amen. What if we go to heaven and find some people in front of us that we didn't think they would be there? We have to be careful. So that woman, she, she had trust in God and she trusted Elijah. Even these pagans, they are in God's plan. Amen. 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 Lero Elia, 
Aja isidon yari yoherejwe kugira ngo agire icyakora akorere uyu muke uyu 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 mukecu So when Elijah was sent to Sidon it was to do something for this widow Kandi Elia yari mu akoreshwa n'umwuka wera and Elijah was being used by the Holy Spirit Kuko harahano Obadia Obadia umugaragu umukozi wa ikisonga cyahabo cya ahawe agitumye kumushaka ngo aje kumushaka hari aza guhura na Elia aramubwira ati ati he found Elijah and Elijah said, uh, Go tell your uh, master Ahab that I'm here. But she said, No, 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 I can't do that. Mm. No, it took me a quarter of a gong, go ni Maragutandu can an away, go moka we manna quijana, and go quijan hand in hers. Say, after I'm gone from you, the spirit of the Lord will carry you to a place I do not know. So Munzia have Iwe Murugo, Murugo Dan, Varbaziuko, Iria Makurishka no moka. In the house of Ahab, they knew that Elijah was being used by the spirit of God. Varbazi Ukumukako. They knew how the spirit works. Varbaziko. Eri atwarwa n'umwuka bo bakamubera mu myanya y'indoki They knew that Elijah would be carried by the spirit of God and they would not find him Aba kandi nibo bari mu nzu irimo ikorera bari and yet these ones were the ones in the house that was serving Baal So a hari ho ho navuga ngo ahantu hose uko haba hari uko haba hari imana ifitiyo akabuto kayo any place, anywhere, God has His seed. Kandi, ako ka ako imani naga koresh. And God uses that seed. No, o mukia chulelo abo numujisha wa mujisha uhabga uhabga inhumazima na 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 ira uvon. God blessed that widow and it reached even to other people. Amen. 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 Aruki uvoni uvoni mukia chulu. Aruki ibi imani gendera ho. You know, there are things that God follows. There are things that God... God looks at things more things. You know, the mercy. Love. You know, in terms of famine... Feeding other people is something great. But that's what God wants. Amen. 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 As we come close it is written to verse 15. We had read uh, that before. So she went away and did according to the word of Elijah, and she and he and her household ate for many days. Uh, my sister Ines said with her household. Uh, the Bible says in the house, in the house, in her house. Household. Household. Ninzo. It's household. I want to talk about that household. household. When God talks about the household. Or in Kinyarwanda they say house. In Kinyarwanda, when they talk about the house, it usually means a family. Household. But in English, the household, what it means no is a family and everyone who is attached to it. Let me give you an example. It's not an example, that's how it is. Long ago, when I was born, that's people who live in a house, 
bakarukikiza no no rukagira irembo and it will have an, an entry uko niko mu Israeli baturaga and that's how it was in Israel nicyo ituma twumva ngo inkiki that's why we hear the the fence tukumba na marembo the, the walls and the gates okay mu kinyarwanda nje mvuka byabagari nzimwe uh, in Kiaranda, it was one house. Ariko muri Israel cyangwa kera byabaga arabantu benshi. But in Israel it would be a lot of people. Nkuko turi hano twese. Just like we are here all of us. Tukaba one household. We will be one household. Tukaba abantu abantu binzimwe. We will be one household. In fact in kutumeze. Actually that's how we are. Imana yatugize umuryango. Because God made us one family. Ubu turi household. We are a household. But let us go back there. It means in the household, Murugo. In the household, there were a lot of people. For example, let us look at Abraham's household. We know that when he was going to the rescue of Lot. He had an army of 318 people. 318 from his household. 318 from his household. Niko, imagine a household having 318 uh, soldiers. So imagine how, people, how many people are there. Uh, the old women. The old women. The young kids, the women, because they will not go to fight. Uh, those who are cowards. Uh, don't, there were a lot of people, probably more than 1,000. For them to have 318 That was the household of Abraham. That was the household of Abraham. A household is large. And then, this old woman, the Bible says, the Bible says, she and Elijah and all her household ate for many days. Let us think how it was. This old woman, even though she was a woman, she must have had the condition when the husband was still there. Then, 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 when famine came, things got worse. People started going out to Ariko, for livelihoods. But when things changed, she didn't keep it for herself. She spread the news. She spread the news. And they came back. They came back to eat. Now, to tell you, do not keep to yourself good news. Do not keep it to yourself. Do not keep to yourself. Good Say, there is food here, please come. And they came. She, she didn't eat a lot, even her neighbors ate. All the community came and ate from her. Isn't this challenging us? Us? Ugasenga utimana umpa ibyo kurya by'umusi kandi usiko bibatsi wa mafaranga y'ibyo kurya by'ukwezi kandi umuturanye nta byo kurya by'umusi wafite No you asking for today's food and yet you have money for uh, one month uh, food and your neighbor doesn't have anything Kuko twe dusenga nk'umu Samaria kazi Because we pray like Samaria Muza Samaria kazi yambwiye ati ati wa mayo kurayo mazi nkayibika sinzongere kuza kuva mukunde Mama Mama, 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 Mama
give me this water that will last forever. We like to tell God, give us so that we can store ourselves. In the first service, I asked the question. When people get, get paid, uh, if there are others who get to know about that. Some people started raising hands. No, no. And then, and then, when they raised hand, I asked them who and got paid. And I know that <laughs> the, the month and those who had raised their hands, they brought <laughs> their hands <laughs> You understand that the Lord wanted she, she called she called others she called others come and eat instead of keeping it to herself and we have seen that all that time no one died of hunger. no one died of hunger. Because that God, your man, that God, your man, that God, he sees, he looks at us, and he knows that he has to give us our daily bread. I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he does it. What I know is that he does it. Does it. Because we are here, all of us, as we are here, we have gone through difficult things. All of us, I know. I know. I will not tell you about mine, I know you had yours. But what I know, as we are here, us, we have been through such things. Amen. Amen. We are here today. So that should be a reason to have faith. So the one who took us from there, he will also carry us through this. He will carry us through this. And if he's carrying us through this, now that you have known we are not going to say that he will carry us through it. Say, find a way to no. just go. There is a prayer we no longer pray. There is a prayer we no longer pray. We, we don't pray for the day after tomorrow. That's not our prayer. Because we know that the one who took us through there that time, there it was farther than where we are. <laughs> Let me tell you, you see me. All of you see me. All of you see me. Right? Right? Should I be anxious or worried about the years I have left? Where and now I'm almost at the end. Now, should I spend sleepless nights thinking? See, you know, everyone ends all the power. You're close to the door. You're going to worry about the steps left. Knowing that you, you have made thousand steps and you can't Let us be mature. Let us be mature. Let us be mature. You know, that is for the young ones, but for us who are mature, 
Amen. Amen. When I talk about those who are old, those who are older than 18 years, because those who are 18, they have walked a certain journey. And they have seen God carrying them through that. So let us be patient. And walk in the ways of God according to his will. Because the one who worked, he will keep working. The one who worked, he will keep working. Let us conclude here. Our takeaway is one the old woman she was fed but she didn't eat a lot. Only that one. Let us go with that one. Let us go with that one. Ahandi turibakuru for the rest, we are mature. We we'll add what is missing. God bless you. Let us thank God. God bless you. Twumvise Kiri tukabanye ko data tudakwe kwi kwirarikira tuvuga ngo ejo ejo bundi tuzarya iki ngo nibikono bidahinga nkibibibi nkibisarure nkibihuniki mana nabyo urabigaburira ibyo bikona mana ishobora byose twabonye ko ari byo byagaburiye Eliya ariko bibumugabura buri munsi ekamana natwe tumenye ko Iryo funguro ryacu iyo umunsi iyo umunsi tusaje kuvuga iryejo n'igejo bundo ya tuvuga iryo umunsi iryo umunsi n'ryo tugusabye uraliduha mana twabonye kandi ko uduha ntabwo uduha kugira ngo natwe mana twibikire mana ishobora byose ntabwo ari kugira ngo umuntu ahunike Kuko ni wa hunikira nejo kuko utazibyejo mana ahobwo mana igira neza uduha kugira ngo nabandi babe ubageze tubageze umugisha wawe ntabwo uba ari tukuhaya ahobwo ngira ngo budutumye udutumye kubandi reka rero tube tubimenye tubizirikane kandi data utuziko tuzahabonera umugisha ngo umukecu rahamagaye icyaro cyose ariko mana buri wese yarariye kandi buri wese yarahaye ushima kandi bashima mu kicuru kandi nawe imana baragushima rekero tumugisha kubandi kugira ngo abakumenye abananiwe kumva bazabone ibikorwa kandi tuzi ko ibikorwa bivuga cyane kurusha amagambo imana ishobora byose tuzi ko tuzabagukururira tukababwi bakakumva bakakumva bakakumenya neza ariko bazanywe imana no ninge so nziza bazanywe n'urukundo bazanywe n'imbabazi bazanye n'impuwe bazanye n'imbuto tuzaba tubereye urakoze rero urakoze kuko waduhaye umwuka wo kuduherekeza w'ibyo ntabwo twabyishoboza twe turi abantu mana turi abantu turi ubuntu nta kintu turi abantu ubuntu nta kintu dushoboye ariko umwuka wawe urahari umwuka wawe waraduhaye umwuka wawe uraduherekeza mana ishobora byose umwuka wawe niwe tugusaba ngo naduko nadukoreremo kugira ngo izo mbuto zose zere zigaragare mana igira neza turagushimiye kuko ntabwo uvugira ubusa mana tuzi ko hari imbuto itewe mu mitima yacu kandi mu mitima nayo izakure urakoze rero tuguhaye cyubahiro iteka ryose 
kandi manishwa byose tugusabye ngo mangira neza utugumize muri jambo tugenda turi tekereza turi hukumeka turi turi biba ni mwizina rya Yesu Kristo mwa mwacu nsenze nizeye amen